my honor to, um, to present an award this evening to the NSDR Man of the Year. And so, and it's really the honor of the NSDR to do this because this individual is like extremely worthy of the, um, the honor. So, first of all, a little background on this gentleman, um, or I should say young man, because basically he's still a young man. Uh, he's been in the coin business for 45 years, which means he probably started when he was like seven. Um, but uh, he is by far one of the most recognized experts in numismatics. Uh, he has a long, long list of achievements. He's received a number of awards. He's received the PNG Lifetime Achievement Award, the PNG Abe Kossoff Founders Award, the PNG Art Kagan Ambassador Award, and he's been a member of the PNG since 1982. He's also hi there. He's also served as um, the treasurer, the vice president, and the president of the PNG in the past. He is um, additionally one of the original graders at PCGS. He's currently um, serving as a consultant to NGC on coin grading. He's considered one of the county, the country's um, best coin graders. Um, he has also served as part of the um, Board of Governors of the ANA. And he's been uh, both Vice President and President of the ANA as well. He's also been invited to serve on the Board of Advisors for the Smithsonian Institution's Numismatic Department. And he does currently serve as a consultant for the museum's funding, exhibits, conservation, and research. And in his spare time, He's also written some numismatic publications that you'll probably recognize. The 100 Greatest U.S. Coins, the United States Coinage, a study by type, and the Encyclopedia of the United States Gold Coinage. It's hard to believe he's only been in the business for 45 years with all these things. I can't imagine how he did all this. He's uh, also, uh, no surprise, an owner of a successful coin business and a partner in another successful coin business. Uh, he's been called and termed the expert of experts. He's often called on by other numismatic dealers and uh, he asked for advice and information on his experience and expertise. Uh, he's bought and sold almost every rare US coin ever issued. And, um, and no surprise, he's also the editor of the official Red Book. So, if you haven't figured it out by now, uh, it is my honor and the honor of the NV of uh, NSDR to recognize Jeff Garrett as this year's Man of the Year. You know, I feel I think uh, I'm too young for lifetime achievement because I'm still out there trying hard. So, just uh, you know, maybe, maybe a lifetime or you know, the or good, I guess Man of the Year here, we're doing it, but. Um, I, am, I have been in the PNG long enough that uh, my dues now, I have to pay half now. So that's good. It's after 25 years, you only have to pay half. But, um, the, uh, one thing that was interesting, you guys were talking about earlier about the ANA with Summer Seminar, and i and, uh, tell you how important that is. Um, in 1974, um, I remember opening an envelope and uh, getting awarded a, a scholarship to the Summer Seminar. And um, that was uh, 1974, it was 16. And uh, it was the first time I'd actually flown on an airplane. And uh, got to go to summer seminar. And uh, my uh, teacher at the time was uh, Ken Brissett, who is now my mentor for Red Book. So it really, it, um, it does change lives. It's a you know, super important thing. So if you guys, you know, passing the hat, thinking about that, it's, I, st I still think it's probably the most important thing that the ANA does. I mean, uh, you know, the magazine's great, the museum's great. But um, the, a the ANA summer seminar actually changes lives. And I think probably a bunch of people in here could probably attest to that. So. Definitely changed my life. You know, uh, had a big impact. Um, one thing, uh, you know, one thing about you know, being in business for 45 years, um, uh, you know, it's not, it's really just it's been for me it's been nothing but fun. You know, I've had I've had fun. I've, you know, uh, it's been a blast. Um, you know, I go to uh, probably go to 25 coin shows a year for 45 years. I don't know how many that adds up to, but it's a lot. 
and um, I still enjoy it. Um, the ones that probably deserve more credit for sort of all the time I do is my family. You know, my wife Mary Lynn and uh, my son, my, son, my uh, son, uh, Ben is here tonight. You know, they, they're the ones that had to stay home and uh, you know sacrifice when I was uh, gone all that time. I was out having fun, and they were uh, keeping the home front going and keeping it, keeping it all going. Um, it's uh, uh, you know one thing I was I hear you guys talking about your uh, your organization, and uh, kind of made me think about how important really the National Silver Dollar Roundtable is. I mean, silver dollars are the bedrock of our hobby. So you guys are really on the I mean I think on the front lines of of our of our, of our hobby. More people you know probably start with collecting probably Lincoln pennies maybe the most, but silver dollars. Uh, yeah, yeah, cents. I'm sorry, Lincoln cents. But uh, the uh, the um, you know it's so it's it's it is a, it is a super important thing. I remember Bobby Paul told me one day, and I've, I've told this advice to many, many, many people that if you can learn to grade silver dollars or a big coin, you can extrapolate that almost to any other series, and that's a great way to actually l learn your hobby. So um, you know it's you know here in, you know senior organization, what you guys do, it's um, it it is very important. Um, you know, it's funny I didn't hear anybody mention it tonight. But um, you guys have a huge opportunity coming up um, next year. It's the 100th anniversary of the uh, end of the Morgan dollars and the beginning of uh, peace dollars. So you know you guys need to really uh, you know seize that opportunity. The whole hobby needs to seize that opportunity and, and bring uh, uh, try to get as many people into it as possible. I, I don't know if the Mint's going to do anything, but you know we we hope it does because I think that silver dollars are kind of like a you know now you know my son deals in silver eagles a lot and. Silver Eagles and Silver Dollars, it's, it's kind of the gateway coin to, to get a lot of people interested. So I think you guys are, it's, a, it's important whatever you guys do, everybody supports the organization. I think that's, that's a, that is, um, you know, uh, very big. Um, you know, since I was thinking about my career, kind of reflecting on it, I was thinking about Silver Dollars because I knew it was coming tonight, and I, was, I started thinking to myself, I was like, I wonder how many Silver Dollars I've bought and sold in my life. And I was thinking, you know, that's a, that's, I started thinking about a couple of deals I did, and that's a, that's a, it's a big number. I've, uh, I remember, does anybody here remember in the 1980s, I, I sold uh, Bill Dooner's collection. Does anybody remember that? Probably, I know Brian does. He bought a bunch of them. <laughs> but uh, getting Bill Dooner was like really into silver dollars. And um, at one point, he bought, uh, I bought from him 500,000 Morgan dollars, and I sold them to Larry Lee at, at one time. So that was a, that was a big deal. And then it, uh, it, probably not silver dollars, but um, one of the other biggest deal I did, I bought uh, Two hundred fifty thousand Ike dollars from a banker in Montana and sold them to Littleton Coin Company. So that was the uh, that was another big deal. So I, I think I'm probably pretty safely in the million dollar silver dollar club. So that's probably exclusive club. It it does take forty five years to do it. <laughs> so it's, it's, it takes it takes it takes it takes a while. So um, but I but I, I I've enjoyed. I love silver dollars. I buy and sell them every day. It's uh, to me it's one of the I, one of the you know the coins I enjoy the most because they have such a great history. And um, and I sell a lot of them. Every you know every show I come up to, people come up and want to see my silver dollars. So it's something I really it's a it's a it's a bedrock of our hobby. Um, one thing also you know when I, you know I talk, thought about earlier, um, I the first 25 years well the first half of, I'll put it this way first half of my career, I pretty much took from the hobby. I you know I I, I worked hard, um, but I was really really compensated, um, and the hobby was very good to me. And um, uh, but I was just focused on one thing: how much can I make? How much can I make? How much can I make? You know, this show, that show, you know, this deal, that deal. And that was all I did. And about 20 so odd years ago, um, you guys mentioned earlier about my P&G. I there was a few things that P&G did that were irritating me, and I didn't really like them. I don't even remember what they are now. <laughs> it's, uh, I didn't like them. And I said, you know that. Only way to change is really to get involved in it. You know, don't, don't just uh, go out and complain about it. Get involved in it. So I got involved in it. Became a board member. Worked my way up, and you know, become president. And I, you know, think we did a good job trying to make the hobby better. And then once I turned out of that, I decided to turn my attention to the A and A. Um, and uh, you know, I kind of uh, wanted, you know, started that whole process. It's a long process to learn and to get it. But um, you know, I started trying to realize that you know, it was, you know it's, it's just as important to give back as it is to take from the hobby. So um, I tried to laugh the last you know twenty some odd years, and then also I got into you know doing the writing and things like that, trying to educate other people. So because uh, everybody mentioned this tonight, you know you can't take the future of a hobby for granted. It, um, you know I think we're, you know I think it's not as dire as a lot of people make it out to be, but nobody in this room can take it for granted. And um, whether it's scholarships, or if you're going to your local coin club, and um, you know when Mr. Lincoln came to our local coin club a, a month or two ago, got a great talk. Kids loved it. 
you know, reach, reach out and, and to at, at every level. You know, John and Nancy Wilson giving out, you know, rumming up members all the time. You know, it's that kind of stuff that's a, we all need to, we all need to give back because a hobby, you wouldn't be eating at Ruth Chris Steakhouse unless you, the hobby's been pretty good to you. So uh, just remember that and uh, try to give back to the hobby. So thank you for uh, the award, I really appreciate it. I'd like to add something to what all the the list of accomplishments that Jeff was uh, attributed to. Uh, back in 2011, uh, Charlie Brown, rest his soul, and uh, Bill Shamhart asked me to, to help them teach the advanced grading and problem coins at a summer seminar, and I've been doing it ever since. But uh, we lost Charlie, and uh, Bill kind of resigned, and Jeff. Jeff stepped up last year, and uh, he, he and I, along with a third person, uh, one of his protégés, um, uh, teach the advanced grading class. So again, in his spare time, he also steps up and teaches the advanced grading class, and I presume you're doing it again this year. Otherwise, you're going to be guilty for, you know, bailing out. But that's, you know, of all the things he does, I mean, you know, we spend a week in Colorado Springs and we enjoy teaching uh, uh, eager people and we have in our class, we, there's only one advanced grading class and we have everybody from teenagers, YNs, all the way up to people that are 70, 80 years old and uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's really a lot of fun. This will be my 10th year doing it and uh, anyway, Jeff stepped up in, in addition to all the things he does. And it, 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 it's great, and I look forward to future years doing it. Thanks. <laughs>